If people obeying the law makes you scared, makes you paranoid, you shouldn't be a cop. Because what you are is you're a danger to the public. All right, at this point, get on the ground. Yes, sir. Get on the ground, put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. I am. I don't have to present it. Sir, you this know, go either one way or it's going to go another way. Okay. Uh, just so you know, I am recording. Good, so am I. Okay. Wearing a ballistic vest with no markings walking around the public. Is it, is it illegal to wear a ballistic vest? Do you have any ID on you? Is it illegal to wear a ballistic vest? Okay, signal 44. He's not compliant. I'm going to put you on the ground at gunpoint if you don't comply. That's what I'm telling you. So you're going to violate my civil rights? You're armed wearing a ballistic vest walking around public. Is that illegal? Sir. Is that illegal? That is, sir, sir, 60. I'm, uh, he's still not compliant. What's going on, guys? Save this on to the live stream on YouTube. I got Orange County Sheriffs again on me, harassing me. He was across the street just observing me, doing nothing, standing on public property. I'm here with a friend at his property, and he's claiming that me having a vest and being armed, which I informed him I'm armed, that he's going to put me at gunpoint and put me down. I'm going to inform you that, sir, you might be able to back away because if he reaches for that weapon, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to reach for it. Okay. I'm not going to reach for it. And ju just so you know exactly where it is, it's, it's on my right hip. I'm well aware of that. Okay. So this, this is what I was telling you that, that I do. If, if people obeying the law makes you scared, makes you paranoid, you shouldn't be a cop. Because what you are is you're a danger to the public. All right, at this point, get on the ground. Yes, sir. Get on the ground, put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. He's proned out, the pistol's on his right hip. Just secure it. it it's, a, it's on my right hip. So, when he pointed that at me, I saw my whole entire life flash before my eyes. Of course. I'm part of that person in the audit. Oh, he got what he wanted then. Well, I just realized uh, I've, I, I've had had other cops stop me with the vest and yeah. they kind of act the same way. Well, Mr. Diaz, you got what you wanted. You you have the attention of law enforcement? Uh, well, I wouldn't have had the attention if you didn't You wouldn't have had the attention, sir, if you weren't walking around with a ballistic vest but on. That's not illegal. That's but a reasonable not. person, a reasonable person in their right mind does not walk around with a U.S. Army surplus ballistic vest. Okay. So when you do that, that you're going you're going to get the attention illegal, of law enforcement every the, single time. The fact that it's not illegal that okay. doesn't mean you can detain me. That it does. Mean that you can yes, sir. And seize my personal property. It does mean I can detain you. No, okay. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Park. Okay. So you're home with your partner. You have kids or wife or girlfriend or anything? Right, just a dog. Okay. So you're there with your dog or whatever, and somebody's walking around with a vest like that, whether or not you had the badge on or whatever, a concealed weapon, handcuff case, wouldn't you be alarmed like, hey, what's going on in my neighborhood? Not at all. You would, wouldn't? I, so then I you're not a, you're not a very alert person then, I no, guess. No, I'm alert. I'll notice that the person is there and they have it, but right. I also know that they're allowed to do it. Right. So as long as that person isn't messing with no one else or messing with me, it, I really care less what they're doing. Okay. So you, you don't care then? Okay. Some people don't care, I guess. It's, it's just, it's rights that we have, we're not, you know? We're not saying it's not your right to have that. No, but... There's the, a difference. The way, but the, listen, there's a difference between you have a right to, to do something. You have a right to wear that vest. You can wear a helmet, a vest, you can wear a head to toe, whatever, right? You right. have a right to do that. But we have a job to see what you're doing when you're wearing that in a manner that I, I is confusing to the public or scary that. to the public. I understand that, but all you guys... All you would have had to do is just stop and go, hey, this is my deal, well, this, this is what the, I'm wearing. This is the thing. If you review his camp, okay. I, I was not confrontational. Okay. He, he came up. But it didn't sound like you listened right away because he's mm -hmm. everybody's so, telling us on the radio, we're, we're hauling butt with well, lights and yeah, sirens I'll, because I'll, of what I'll, happened. I'll explain it to you because obviously what he said was not what happened. Okay. He made, I noticed him since over there. Okay. I wanted him to know I don't got nothing to hide. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I continued having my conversation because 
you, you know, I know he's here for us, so why should I worry about a cop being on the corner? Okay. And Good. we talked for a little bit, me and him, about some video games, and then I was like, okay, well, you know, we're done talking, I'm going to get back to work, and I'll let you okay. do your thing. I started walking back to the car, and uh, the, the guy was talking to me about the First Amendment audits that I've done. Okay. And I started explaining to him about the First Amendment audits. That's when this officer here pulled up, got out the car, made contact with me, and hey, uh, why are you wearing a vest? So I looked at him, and I was like, it's not illegal to wear a vest. Right, and it's and then, not. And it's then, not. I'm on page with you right yeah, there. Yeah, then, then he looks at me, and he goes, are you armed? And I said, yes, I am right. armed. It's on my right hip. And you're allowed to do that, too. And, and that's instantly when he went for the gun. He was holding his gun, clutching it. Right. And uh, he goes, oh, this is going to go one or two ways, which everything that he did, you know was wrong. He can't. He can't. First, he, he can't search and seize my things unless I'm breaking the law. Police do not have no authority over me until I've broken the law. And Did you see this guy walking around yeah. with the stuff on? Yeah? yeah. Did it freak you out? Not really, but... Yeah, uh, it's normal? I've never seen him here before. It was kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, he, he's not walking around like that. I think he's like, he He wants attention. Yeah. So he wants he the got, cops to stop him so he can sue them. He's one of those those guys. One of, one of those YouTube guys. So he wears the shit to get a rise out of people and then, you know. I know exactly what you're talking about. But he's also an Uber driver, so he may be the one picking picking you up wearing an armored vest. Yeah, it is. It is absolutely crazy. For what reason at all? I did. I don't know. But he did something with Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. No, he got a gun. Yeah, he had a gun on him. And, uh, he's, he's licensed to carry, though. I think so, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah. Uh, shit that happens on a Friday morning. They know, right? Holy they got nowhere better to be. Nowhere better to be. <laughs> Holy smoke. Yeah. But as far as it goes, I don't think he was really up to anything. I think he's just... Uh, attention. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, one of those things. It's not real. See ya, man. Thanks. Hey, did you guys see this guy walking around? The guy with the bulletproof vest on, did you see him? No? Okay, never mind. Hello. Hey Jennifer, how are you? Excellent, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, who's this? Who is it? Hey, Neville's Jeff Mayer, how are you? Good, good. So, um, I can hear you, yes sir. I'm in my car on my cell phone. And I've got a couple of bars. Um, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. What's your number? Okay. Okay. 6286. I'll call you now. Thanks. All right, bye. <clears throat> Yes, sir. How are you? Good, good. So uh, here's my situation. I'm driving down Rouse Road approaching Bloomfield. Um, next to the apartment complex, I see a gentleman wearing an olive hat, an olive uh, ballistic vest, and he's got a bulge on his side. The olive ballistic vest, the only thing you can see from the front is a olive um, U.S. United States flag. Uh, so I sit and watch him for a minute. He stands there sitting on the side of the road, and I see a black handcuff case on his left side. He's got no law enforcement markings, no bond agent markings, nothing like that. No, no I, I, I wear the vest because, one, I, it's, it's my right to do it. And 
So I watch him go into the apartment complex. I drive around, and he's leaning in a car. So I come up and I say, hey, how you doing? Do uh, you, you have any ID on you? He says, uh, I'm not going to identify myself. Finally, he start, start, starts talking all this First Amendment rhetoric, and he's making me feel a little nervous. So I go, okay, sir, at this point, I want you to get on the ground, on your belly, put your hands out. Okay. okay. Uh, just so you know, I am recording. Good, so am I. Okay. wearing a ballistic vest with no markings walking around the public. Is, is it illegal to wear a ballistic vest? Do you have any ID on you? Is it illegal to wear a ballistic vest? Okay, signal 44. He's not compliant. I'm going to put you on the ground at gunpoint if you don't comply. That's what I'm telling you. So you're going to violate my civil rights? You're armed wearing a ballistic vest walking around public. Is that illegal? If, if people obeying the law makes you scared, makes you paranoid, you shouldn't be a cop. Because what you are is you're a danger to the public. All right, at this point, get on the ground. So I wait for another unit, secure him. Um, he's got a Springfield Armory 45 on his hip. Uh, he's wearing a ballistic vest with body armor in it. And inside his car, which we can see in plain view because he left the door open, was a, a gold badge that says Conceal Weapons Permit Holder. Um, he's definitely a First Amendment auditor because he's, uh, he's got some uh, lawsuit paperwork in, in the car from the sheriff's office. So he's obviously won some money. My thing is, is he's walking around like this saying, I have the right to do so. And you know, a reasonable person is not going to walk around looking like that. Um, so I took some pictures of him, of his handgun, of his car, of the badge, of the vest. Is that because of that situation? Or do you just like no, the it's because of that situation. Because of that situation. Because of that Or 60. Weapons permit. I know. And, and the re the no, 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 I, I get it. I'm just I'm explaining the whole thing. Could a reasonable and person say, you know, his handgun, of his car, of the badge, of the vest, and I'm going to do a, an incident report on him. But I wanted you guys to be aware because I think he needs to be tracked. I cut him loose, but um, I'm going to make sure that Intel, Intel, yeah. Intel for sure is aware of this guy. Um, at least you guys have should put him on his radar. No, he didn't make any sovereign citizen um, notations, no. No, I'm well aware of that. Correct. I'm, I'm a First Amendment auditor. I have the right to do this. Uh, he's got a concealed weapons permit. But he said, uh, you know, in, in speaking with him, I go, would a reasonable person, sir, walk around with a ballistic vest and handcuffs and a concealed weapon? He goes, it's my right to do so. So he's obviously on that very far left side of the, you know, spectrum. I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. Oh, he's already suing the sheriff. Yeah, he's already. Sounds like he won. He was walking up and down the street with another guy, with that gentleman, and I'm like, that's just strange. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop out with him. It's like he was in and out of his car, and I go, sir. You have a weapon on you? He goes, yep. I'm like, okay, don't move and don't reach for it. And then he started going erratic. I go, all right, you get on the ground, because now I'm not taking any chances. Uh, we were having a conversation. That's when um, I noticed the officer kind of like stalking me from across the street. You know, I, I I don't got nothing to hide, so it's not like I was avoiding him. Gotcha. And uh, then when we came in here, because he was going to continue about my day, the officer pulled in here. So what up. paperwork is this, man? That's a lawsuit that I won against Orange County Sheriff's because they did the same exact thing. He goes, oh, I'm recording it, so am I. So, I cut him loose, but... Uh, case. I keep the handcuffs because, you know, I, I carry a gun for protection, but I also know how to fight. So, if someone tries to attack me and I don't feel like I need to defend myself in a way to shoot him, I can at least detain him until the cops...
cops get there. And in that, that your estimation, of a reasonable person, a reasonable citizen, if you're at, at the mall with your family, you're walking around this neighborhood walking your dog, a reasonable person, in your estimation, would be walking around with a ballistic vest with no markings on it, law enforcement related, a concealed pistol, and a handcuff case exposed. Okay. A reasonable but person in your mind the thing is, is that, that wouldn't cause you alarm? What you consider a reasonable person, their suspicion doesn't trump the rights of what I can do. It doesn't. It has a right to investigate the matter, though, to understand just what's going on. You, you, can, you can approach and, and make contact to speak to the person, but if the person doesn't want to speak to you, that doesn't mean that you can put them down on the ground at gunpoint, threatening my life. If he... Do you have an ID? Just, just, just misunderstanding. What happened? No, it wasn't a misunderstanding. Uh, basically, what I did was an inve investigatory stop based on what I observed. Okay, the best, yeah. okay, it's not reasonable for somebody to be wearing a badge and, and a concealed I mean, gun and a handcuff. Day, so. so what I did was an investigatory stop. Right, right, well, right. within my rights as a law enforcement officer, he was unhandcuffed when I felt safe and the scene was safe, and that's it. It's going to be documented. The sheriff's office now knows who's who, who he is, and everybody goes on with their day. Okay? Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. No problem, All right, you too.